Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti from AnthonyMorganti.com. This is episode 112 of Lightroom Quick Tips. In this episode, I'm going to demonstrate my favorite little trick one could do in Lightroom. Now, a couple years ago, I did show this little trick, but apparently I've never done it in a Lightroom Quick Tips video, so I thought I should do it now. Now, this tip will work with the graduated filter, the radial filter, or the brush. I'm going to demonstrate it with the brush. Now, as you know, the brush tool is right here. We're in the develop module. It's the tool on the far right. And most often we use the brush, we might take like one slider and we paint something on our, you know, our image, something like that. And we could take that one slider and we could readjust it to get whatever effect we might want. But often we move more than one slider and in this case let's say I want to soften her skin now there is a preset up here for soften skin but just let's say I want to come up with something of my own so I'm gonna like turn contrast down a little bit and I am going to take clarity all the way down I'll turn saturation up a touch sharpness up a touch but I'm gonna turn noise up a lot and let's say now that's good and I'm gonna soften her skin so we're gonna come in here and I'm just going to real very quickly soften her skin. And I'm going to try to avoid, as typical if you ever watch any of my other videos and I demonstrate how to do skin softening, you want to stay away from like the eyebrows, the eyes, the eyelashes, and the lips. You want to keep those sharp. And of course her hair. So we come up here real quick. We'll do up here. Okay. For the sake of this video, that's good enough. All right, so I soften her skin, but now you look at it and go, wow, that's really overdone. That's overbaked. Well, you you know, you could come in here and you got all these sliders adjusted. So you could cry, kind of bring each of them down a little bit and see where it gets you. Well, there's a better way. Right here in the top right-hand corner, you'll see there's this little black triangle. That's called an expose triangle. If you click on that little triangle, everything collapses down into an amount slider. And then all you have to do is dial down the amount to get the perfect skin softening that you wanted. In this case it was skin softening, but again this will work for anything as far as the brush is concerned, the radial filter, or the graduated filter. So try it out. And in the radial filter there's the slider there. We'll click on it and you can see it collapses down to amount. And in the graduated filter same thing. It, it will collapse down to a, an amount. And then you could just re-click it to open up your sliders again. So that's it for episode of 112. Real quick, guys, all my videos are free, and they're free because many kind people help me out. They use my affiliate links. They buy my, they buy my Lightroom presets or my Photoshop actions, or they make donations, or they're my Patreon. If you guys could do me a favor and help me make better videos, all you got to do is click on this little eye that you may see in the top right hand corner of this video if it's not there look down into the um, description below this video and you'll find a link to my website and there you'll get all the info on how you could help me make better videos thank you again everyone I really do appreciate it I'll talk to you guys soon